It's good to be alive. Good to be alive. Yeah. It's good to be alive. And we all want to see you thrive. Hang on for the ride. This is Paul Vibes. Bringing you a spiritual flow. And information that could remedy the soul. A man for the people. Message in a bottle. But he threw it in a podcast. Now it's full throttle. Life is never hollow. But if you ever feel twisted. Or need to be lifted. Yo, my man is gifted. Hello everybody, Paul Vibes here. Welcome to another very special episode of the People's Podcast. We got the Jack Anderson Band. Welcome guys. We got Jack, we got Joe, we got John. Old Jay. Old Jay. He's a full J. P V J J J. Yeah, P V. P V. P Paul Vibes. Yeah. Yeah. P V J J J. Yeah. Yeah. From my point of view, we had a great performance. We had you guys perform on the People's Podcast. I heard this is your first podcast appearance. Is that true? Yeah. Is it? We're, we're, we're hermit crabs. You just sit in the caves. We don't yeah. go in. <laughs> we don't do anything. But you guys are pretty good for people who uh, play in caves all day. Thanks. Man. No, but all, all jokes aside, you guys have been like on like a tour. Like I feel like on, I, I've been slacking. I've been in school. You know, I've been wanting to see you guys perform live. I got to see you today. But how how's it been? Like you getting sick of each other yet, or how about you, Joe? You're the loudest one around here. He wants to strangle us. I'm yeah. the loudest one around. Yeah. Joe's the loudest one. No, it's it's been it's been great so far. Um, we just like yeah. we the, this is. It, we're pretty fresh here. We're pretty new, so um, and we got we got like noticed quick. Yeah. So it's like weird. You know what's funny is I remember I think we met Joe the same day night as at Alan Kaba. Yeah. Great place, shot down Kaba. You were sitting there by the bar. We had a conversation with uh, Zach, <clears throat> and then and then we met Jack. Jack introduced himself. It was like a cool. I remember that happening. Yeah, triangle Just connection. Great, yes. great happenstance. Networking. We Networking. met. We met very people. Quickly. Good people. Yeah. yeah. We met very quickly. John and I are cousins. We've known each other all What did you guys meet? <laughs> yeah, right, right. Last yeah. week. I met him in the moon. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, hey, how you doing? You know, like, well, then you wouldn't be cousins. John and I, <laughs> John and I started playing music together about, I'd say, two years ago. Mm. Um, both going through really rough times, and music was really something as, you know, for a lot of people, brings us out of that. Um, and it wasn't really until the last, maybe, like, eight months or so that we started to right. write music together you know we yeah. had we had created some riffs and whatnot you know, i've seen you guys always jam out we would do our own thing though like he was writing his own i was over here writing my own stuff mm. he was not nobody even knew who he was but i got we gotta give joe the love because you know why he's awesome to begin with but it, ever since he started became got in the picture then you started like taking it to because a more serious missing, level. level we were missing like a thing because we get together we're goofballs. We don't take anything seriously. We don't. We really don't. Yeah. We get together. We're like making jokes, making. You know, it was our practice session. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We it's, always, it's for four hours. Yeah, we're gonna. This is when we get together. It's like we're gonna practice for two hours, and then we wind up doing a skit for six hours. We're acting. We're hanging out on cobble for the night. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. yeah, whatever we're doing. We have a beer. That's it. Like we don't. <laughs> like, we don't focus on. The, but then he came. So, so Joe, what did you do? What did, what happened? You came, you're like, guys, let's get to work. I don't know. I guess I just provided this uh, sense structure? of like structure. Now we gotta like he's like older than us, and is he really? Yeah, yeah. Wow, how much older are we talking? Quite a bit. What? You're what? I'm um, 22. Yeah, I could I could almost be his parent. We're 22. <laughs> he's 34. <laughs> no, you are. Are you kidding me? Yeah. I thought he was the youngest one. <laughs> so this is what happened. Are you guys mind blowing right now? So this is what this is what happened. Like we were doing our own thing. He was playing. I was playing. And we were writing our own stuff. And then he came into the picture because we he was like, oh, he's a classical. He, he's trained classically guitar. So I don't know why I'm laughing, but. I was just thinking about the, how it happens. So we, yes, it is weird. Zach was talking to him at Kava and met him. I remember that night. Yeah, he was the head hunter. And yeah. we were just like, oh, like we'll, we'll jam with him, but like we saw him play and it like really fit our style of mm. music. Well, he came. Oh, sorry, he we we were playing a gig at Island Kava. It was like our second or third time playing there, and I had met you prior, and I was like, hey, Joe, we're playing Briefly, tonight. Yeah. Like yeah. that check night, out. I was like, hey, if you're free, come check us out. We're playing. If you're interested, then we can all meet up and jam. <clears> and <throat> like and I ran over there. I liked it. Here you are. Here we are. And it kind of like, let's do this. It, it turned the vibe. Like, it, it gave us like a sense word, of direction. Right? Yeah. Good right. word. Yeah. But it gave us a sense of direction, because we weren't, like, we were right, but, like, we wouldn't take it as serious. Like, we had a lot of potential, we didn't realize it. Well, that's this idea of, like, the, all of us playing a role. Like, listen, this can happen without Space and Money, Alex over here, you guys, me. It's like the team, the, the viewers. Yeah. It's all like a team effort. You, when you look at the, what, life and when you came on top of the plants and the world, you, you talk a lot about that. It's about coming together. Yeah. Like, Joe, Joe showed us that we have, like, Joe 
like made us realize that we all could have potential. Yeah. 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 And, we did. and I love their, like, one thing I told them right, right off the bat was, you guys are great songwriters. Because that's something I can't, I don't do routinely. And, like, I don't write a full piece. Um, and that's, that's part of the reason this is working so well. I write, like, these little phrases and stuff that they can take and say, oh, that sounds great, let's do something with it. Yeah. Um, and that's that's where we're heading. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I feel that. Like, I'll write phrases, but these guys write songs. Wow. They can write full pieces. It's um, almost like a uh, like a Fleetwood Mac, you know? Like, mm -hmm. not, there's not one person that just writes everything. It's yeah. a team effort, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a team effort. Like, you look at, like, certain bands, it's like there's only one person that's, like, in charge. Mm -hmm. And it causes... A lot of problems. The rest, yeah. People start fighting. People leave. Yeah. yeah. If, he, if he has a riff and he has a song, we write. Let's do it. We work on together. It. Yeah. If I have a riff and I write a song, we work together. Yeah, they're I all would, creative input. Right. Yeah. I would never say that these are my songs because they're not my songs. Yeah. They're all of our songs. Yeah. And as time goes they're on, your songs too. Man. We're fresh too. As time goes on, you'll see. Like it's, we have a lot coming. A lot of good stuff. I support you guys, and I love to have you guys on. This is not just a one-time thing. I hope yeah. you guys are cool with that. It's like yeah. I like to have you know you had you on this is your third time. <clears throat> yeah, we got the other one coming out soon. Yeah. Alex is working on it, so he's doing a lot. He's doing a lot of podcasts right now. <laughs> he's a busy guy. Yes, but he is. one thing, one thing for the people who may not know us, so can you talk a little bit the name of the band and how that came to be? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good. It's so It's kind of it's kind of just like. So you, you yeah. would think when, when people hear Jack Anderson <laughs> bands would. They think it's me, yeah, Jack Sand, it's Jack Anderson. But what it is is, you know, talking about films. Mm -hmm. We we used to make films when we were younger, and one of the characters that I played in one of my films was his name was Jack Anderson. So we we were playing at your party over the summer, mm -hmm. and it was just a, a a split moment of where the guy was asking, "Hey, what do you want your band to be called?" And we looked at each other, and he said, "The Jack Anderson Band." Here we because go. what it is is it's it's a symbolism. Yeah for our youth, our innocence, and the yeah, symbolism yeah. for where we started. Mm, it's like not me. To that, yeah. Yeah. People think, oh, Jack is Jack. Like, no, it's 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 the Jack Anderson. Like, I called him Anderson more than I called him Jack. Really? Yeah. In your life. I, <laughs> called, just, I used to call him Anderson all the time. Yeah, that's it. So it was like a nickname, and mm -hmm. it just grew to yeah. on the spot. Yeah. What, what should we label you guys yeah. as? Like Jack Anderson. Mm -hmm. That's it. Amazing. So you guys, you guys, this has only been on for a couple, a couple of weeks. Not that long, right? I mean, not two months. Two months now. Two months. Yeah, we've yeah. been doing Patchwork, Port Jeff. We've been doing breweries. Uh, <laughs> take it. Breweries. We've been doing <laughs> bars, and you know, and podcasts now. And podcasts now. Podcasts. So so I appreciate it. Good, good. For us, it's great. You get good recognition too, like changing it up. Yeah. You guys bring great vibes. Not just come on, perform, tell us like I, you know, I support you guys. I love you guys. Yeah. And, I want to be a part of the journey. So that, like you're saying, that's that's our goal. I mean, right now we're in a very critical time on this planet. Oh, where that's enough. Tell me, we that. we have to wake up, or we're going to go down a very dark path. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. We're already, you know, we're at the crossroads right now. And music and history. I mean, you look at like the '60s, the '70s, you know, the '80s, the Jimi Hendrix era, the Woodstock era. Mm. It was all about peaceful. Music, good, peace and love. love. It was like uniting Jamming. the people. Peace and love. Uniting yeah. the people through rhythm. So, I uh, got more right, right there. You'd appreciate it. It's like a peace sign. Yeah. yeah. So, we want we want to write our music and we want our music to bring back that jam mm. band era. Like the Grateful Dead vibe where like everyone is just happy. happy. This peaceful. is the one thing that connects us all. The one thing we that connects us all. We can't agree on anything else. We can agree on music. It's music. 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 That's, That's it. it. That's, That's it. it. That's it. We're all different, completely different people. Yeah. Completely different yeah. people. Yeah, absolutely. I want to ask each of you, because Jack, you talked a little bit about it. I need yeah. to ask you, with, with everything going on in the world, whether it's your music, that's a tool to kind of express yourself <laughs> and bring peace, what is your guys' thoughts on what's going on in the world and what needs to be done? Like, you know, you talk about music. Do you feel the same way, guys? Like, music is I think music time needs, I think music needs to change. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In which ways? Yes. I, I think, think we need to it. get away from the death the vibration of mm. music where we're listening to music that is literally promoting murder and death and dying and drugs and, and even flowery soft you know um, songs that sound pretty could be have the lyrics that are very dark sure. right and that doesn't do anything to the human consciousness you know when it comes to like being dark it depends you know like people have people use music to express dark feeling of course yeah well, not everybody you can't always be happy 
Right. Mm-hmm. So you write a song about someone who died and that meant a lot to you. That's a good song. Yeah. But there is a way of expressing it. I mean, so tears, like, hey, that's look at tears in Heaven. It's the best song in the world, and it's about it's like one of the best songs in the world by Eric Clapton. It's literally about a child falling out of a window and dying. His son. His son, yeah. So like he, if he wrote, he, maybe he didn't write that. He would be depressed. So it's like a good yeah. way of expressing. Yeah, I don't yeah. think we should promote. Music where it's like cool to do Harmony, drugs. Yeah, yeah. So but you have a youth that grows up sick. and they're confused when they can become adults. Yeah. Like, so what is the message that you and I'll start using just talking now? What is the message that the music that you create when you jam when you perform? What is the overall message that you're trying to get across? Well, I write music of all time. Like I write sad songs. I write happy songs. Mm. You know, I write real world. This the world's real. Like you're not just gonna have. You can't always have a smile on your face. Yeah, you can't always have the dark. It's balanced. Yeah, if you, if, you had, if, you had, if you had one way or the other, you're going to wind up, some, you're going to mess up in life somewhere. If you're always happy, it's true. And something, it's true. something wrong is happening. If you're always mm-hmm. messed up and sad, something wrong. You got to yeah. have balance. That's why I'm a big advocate, actually. So like, yeah, I was yeah. going to add the big advocate for expressing yourself through music, through art, so therapy, like with, social work. Making real world music like we do, we make real world music. Mm-hmm. We, we, tell sure we, yeah. we tell stories. We tell stories. You'll see, like, we have other songs that we're going to come out. We tell stories. We tell what's going on in the world, like, real-world stuff. And we want to show people that, like, this is the real world. Mm. Like, you should, you know, listen to it and take your message. We don't, we, we don't want to... We're not going to create a message for someone. So if, if someone has an interpretation of the Earth song, it's their interpretation. It's just going to say... Earth. Like, we make low music, open-minded music. That's awesome. People need to, like, think... You know, whatever you take out of it, you take out of it. If we write a sad breakup song one day, I don't know. You know, you don't know. One day we might have someone take what they want out of it. You know? Cool. Take it as, oh, you know, you want to remember your relationship, you're sad, whatever, that's fine. Or you all you know, need to move past it, whatever it is. Like, our goal is to mm-hmm. like, make people just think. And think smart. It's and important. not think stupid. Because it just adds that you got too people. many people in today's world think stupid. Yes, yeah. Like, there's a lot more stupid people in this world than like clear minded people. <laughs> Uneducated though. And that's uneducated. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, nice to say it nicely. Well, yeah. well, I'm not, he's professional. I'm he's not. Blunt. Yeah, I'm blunt. <laughs> I don't know what Joe has to say about this. I'm blunt. blunt. I'm what blunt. a Joe. Like, I'm blunt. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Blunt. Blunt. He's he's yeah. the educated man. I'll just say it like that. But it's the truth though. People are crazy. It is. Yeah, that's it's that's the balance. It's that's, Joe. We, we're striking that what balance here. What's yours, Joe? What is your what is your goal with uh, you know writing music, playing, performing, and connecting with others? So it's it's always like personal. When I play something, I don't like I won't outwardly express it or tell these guys like if I come up with a riff or something like that. Mm-hmm. I mean, you've seen my Instagram stuff. Like it's it's always like really personal. I get in a so moment. you have an Instagram. I do. I just uh, he's old reactivated ass. it. He's old oh, ass. Da- I was old trying to post this guy. His finally got on the web. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah finally. Did you have to turn the computer on by yourself? Yeah, <laughs> I'm just I'm kidding. Kidding. <laughs> we had a system. So, we had a wheel into it. So, so, Joe, how does it feel to be back on social media and, and to be sharing your music? What does that feel like to you? Uh it's well, sharing the music, incredible. Social media, I can kind of take it or leave it. Yeah. Um, this guy's hitting up everybody on social media. But I need to, yeah, I gotta use it. Watch for out. Advantageous reasons. Like, it's it, it serves a good purpose. Help you promote your stuff, right? Absolutely. Connect with people, like minded people. You guys, here. yeah. So it does have a benefit when you're trying to do like art, arts, arts. Yeah. When you're yeah. trying to do something. If you're gonna be like uneducated, it, it absolutely is. Yeah. And and if you're gonna be posting weird videos of like bad things, and no, 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 it's gonna ruin their reputation. That. But like, for, if you wanna just do something, it's a benefit, because people yeah. around the world can see it. Absolutely. And they wouldn't have saw you if you didn't have the Instagram. To, to use it for artistic purposes is, I think, it's really what it's meant for. If you do music, you can do yeah. art, if you podcast, and you can like speaker. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. All of that, it's worth it. It's good. If you're just gonna post information. Like, if you're just gonna useless stuff, post yeah. useless stuff, yeah. Listen, no, do your thing, but nobody can control you. But if you're gonna post like bad things, it's gonna ruin your reputation. Yeah. Listen, no one this stays on there, remember. John, this moves on to my next question, which is like people watching this all ages, twenties, thirties, teenagers, whatever, fifty years old, eighty, people who who wanna be creative with starting a band, learning about plans, martial art, whatever it is, different modalities. What's your advice to people who might look at your guys and be like, I want to be able to bring people together and create something of my own? Because in this world of COVID, people are afraid of going out, they're afraid of, of, of say, stepping out of their comfort zone. 
I mean, starting a band, what do, what do parents tell their kids? Oh, why don't you get a real, why don't you do something that's real? What it's do you, very you're not gonna make a living on that, or go to school for this or that. I wanna ask each of you, each, you know, and starting with Jack, like, what do you have to say to people who, are, who see what you're doing and they're afraid to take that first step into being creative? And... I, I always tell people this, you're put on this planet for a reason and your reason are your passions. Your passions, mm -hmm. what you're passionate about, what you're passionate about doing, what you're naturally, your soul is just good at doing. We were put on this planet to have fun, to experience being a human being and to share individually our love and our talents with the world to make it a better place. I mean, uh, we live in such a, a social construct that you have to uh, be born, go to work, go to school, go to work, and then die. Like, that's, that's just not, uh, not my reality. Not, not my reality. I believe we are put here to have fun. That's it. That is the purpose of life, is to just have fun and relax and just do your thing. We're going to see very soon, in the next couple of years, things are going to be changing. Shifting. Things are changing. Things right? are already shifting at an unprecedented rate to the point where the paradigm is shifting. And for those who never followed their dreams because they were so afraid of what society was going to deem them as, they will. They will follow yeah. their dreams. We're seeing it more and more because yeah, yeah. that is all that matters. Almost it's a blessing. All that matters. All the, it's a all, the, all everything that's going on right now is a blessing in disguise. Let's do the challenges, right? That we can learn that's and it. stuff, right? That's what we came together. Yeah. And like you were saying before, John, it's just not you don't. Oftentimes, you don't learn from when everything is great and positive. You have to learn yeah. through the suffering. Right? Absolutely. And Here we are. Our greatest teacher. Do you know how much pain I've told you to start this podcast? The people, you know, my it's brand beauty. and the struggle. Which it is meaning in the struggle. Beauty, beauty, beauty yeah. in the struggle. That's true. It's all, you have to have that perspective. Things are blessing in disguise. Yeah. Amen to that. Amen, Amen to that. Amen. Yeah. Take your medicine, right? Yeah. How about you, Joe? I want to hear your view. What do you, whether people are watching your stuff, whether it's your band or other things that you do, and they're like, I want to, I've got to create things, whether it's music, whether it's art, whether it's, but they're hesitant. You know, they have that, there's a lot of people who have lived their whole lives in fear. Well, they're, so, right. And if you're living in that fear, you're never going to, you're never going to, you will never be happy if you don't sort of capitalize on that outlet that you know that you have. Um, you know, I wouldn't, I'd be a miserable person right now, which I always was routinely without like these guys right here wow. playing music. It's, it's that simple. Um, gotcha. It brought me out of my, you know, my hermit crab shell. Hermit um, job. Hermit job. Cause that's, that's an environment I've forced myself into. And that, that's, that's an environment that anyone that doesn't follow their passions will, yes. they're going to end up like that. Um, mm. It's Maybe. it's just that simple. It's you'll you'll be miserable if you don't. It's heartbreaking. It's don't worry about what anyone says, what anyone preaches. That Take your power. These are pipe it. dreams, whatever. Mm. And that's what I love about you, Joe, you guys, your energy is people, you're not the type of band where let's go get effed up, let's get messed up, listen to us, get drunk, get just pretend that your problems aren't real, uh, just veg out. You guys aren't about that. To me, and maybe I'm wrong, but to me, you guys are like raising your level of consciousness, yeah. taking, being more aware of the earth, being more aware of each other. Like when you guys are performing, you're not on drugs, you're not on alcohol, you're like, you're just being sober, enjoying the energy. Yeah. And I really yeah. appreciate that about you guys. And I love you guys each individually. When you guys come together, I, I think you guys are creating something really cool. Magic. So. Magic. You know, and even if, if, I'll just add on then you can answer, um, even if, you know, we're playing and, 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 you know, nothing comes truly big out of your passions, something did come out of it. Yeah, yeah. Because you were having fun. Yes. And that's all that sure. matters. And that might inspire somebody seeing you guys have fun, just being yourselves. And Absolutely. Say, I can I hope. do that, you know? Yeah, so yes, you can do it. Anyone can. What do you think, John? It's like people that like go and, um... I think like you should take as much criticism as possible. Mm. People like to avoid criticism because they're afraid. But criticism is the most important thing for anybody that's trying to follow a dream. People like, uh, I don't listen to that. You have to listen to it. To learn, right? To learn. First of all, use it for motivation. So you got to prove your haters wrong. You know what they say? Prove your haters wrong. That's true. Well, so people do better than the underdog, right? Yeah, they go, don't 
don't feel bad being the underdog, is what I'm trying to say. Everybody starts as the underdog, any musician. Everybody starts where they're, where they're crap, they're nothing. Everybody starts as a musician when you're nothing. You're the underdog. Don't listen to people. Take their advice, take their criticism, but don't let it eat at you like your heart. Mm. Take it with a grain of salt, but take their message. With yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel that. I feel that. And then you know, you you, you got to be real too. You know, you always got to have a, like you, you got to have multiple passions. You can't just have one. You, you, sometimes you can put your effort into everything, and then if it doesn't happen, you still have fun, but then you have nothing. Mm. So you always got to have like a plan. Yeah. And with you guys, you guys have like a million different things you guys do. Yeah, so you, you, you always got to have like plans. You, you can't just, you could put like a, a guy for, I, I don't know if you read like anything about Elon Musk. Of course, yeah. But he says it all the time, like four things. You need four things that you could put. You have time in your life to put 100% of your effort into four things. And you, if you do it and you do it correctly, and you actually work hard and you don't say, you, 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 your actions speak louder than words. One of those four things will work. Mm. One of those four things will work. And, but you gotta love them. Mm. If you don't love it, it's, it's a waste of time. Yeah. People, you see how many people are miserable? It's well. They don't rather, like, you, you Jack is getting sick. You yes. have to love what you do. If you don't love what you do, it's not worth it. So, yeah. you know? Cool. Well, I appreciate that. And as you start wrapping up, I wanna, I wanna know where are the p places that people can follow you? on social media because you guys are starting to build up your social media. We've got Joe finally on social media. There we go. Old man, um, I'm back. We're not going to share any events because we don't know when it's going to be released so I want to make sense to share dates but I want yeah. you guys to know that we're going to include each of their individual profiles if you guys are comfortable with that. Of course, their band page. Um, but just in closing, share the handles and things like so that. So we're, we're on Instagram at Jack Anderson Band all together, one word. I'm sure if you just typed in Jack Anderson Band you'd see it. Um, we're also on Facebook at Jack Anderson Band with a, I said the one, 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 oh, one and only, yeah. Um, Facebook, and then uh, we're going to develop a YouTube channel. So you can see some Very of our cool. shows virtually. It's all going to be under Jack Anderson Cool. Yeah. And, and, and if you guys are watching, you guys have your own podcast, be sure to reach out. I'm sure they'd love to perform, especially if it's in the area. That's and cool. um, I just want to say, you know, this is not the, the, the last time you guys are going to come on. I hope you guys come on more often. Awesome. a long Thanks. performance. and. Definitely, guys, the, uh, some of the music should be included in this podcast, but it, 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 the performance is very a long set, so we're going to include its own video yeah. so people can watch that. So be sure to check out the performance, and uh, thank you guys so much for coming on. Thanks. Cool. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. 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 Thanks.